So now it's time for us to focus on closure, right? And I, uh, a certain part of my life, enjoyed running and uh, racing. And those of you who are runners understand the principle of running through the tape, right? And what's that mean? What's, what does it mean to run through the tape? Finish strong. Finish strong. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish strong. So we're going to move into our final discussion. Um, and this is really going to be about a conversation about call to action. Based on what we've heard and the themes we've discussed, what are the calls to action that are starting to bubble up amongst us as a community? So I'm going to welcome Stasha Morton. So tell us a little bit about your journey as a youth activator. And uh, let's start with that. And then I have a follow-up question for you. Um, so my journey as a youth activator was a little different from my fellow colleagues, actually, because I was actually a really, really poor student, actually. Um, I barely graduated with a 2.0. I barely graduated, period. I had a meeting with my counselor, and she told me that I wouldn't be graduating one time. And I actually, you know, fell into a depression after that, having to tell my mother that I wouldn't be able to walk the stage with the rest of my peers for my year. And that, you know, it it did some damage on me, but it wasn't until I found Peer Forward and I got to go to their workshop. Just out of nowhere, I was just thrown into it. I didn't know what I was getting into. And then at their workshop, I met with a college coach who showed me that not only could I go to college, but I had options. Like, I said, I don't want a GPA requirement. I don't want any of that. And she's like, and there's options out there for you. And just her taking that time on me made me want to take that time for my peers because I didn't think I could do it. I know they didn't think that they could do it. So I kind of took that upon myself to go back into my school. And we ran several campaigns for FAFSA, SAT prep, applying for colleges. I'm sitting right next to you with the computer helping you go through the application as you do it. And we actually raised our numbers from 60% to 85% of my fellow peers applied for colleges. And that was... <laughs> and that was that that was new we had never seen that change it was always a standstill and that's when I kind of saw that I had the power once I saw everyone else crossing the stage and myself crossing the stage the year I was supposed to it just really instilled that passion in me to be a youth activator changed everything so based on that transformative journey that you went through talk to us a little bit about what's bubbling up in your mind and in your heart about a call to action my thing about call to action, because like I said before, we did not have peer forward in my school. We need to get these youth activation programs in the schools where the students are. Not, you know, there's after school activities, but, and there's out of school activities, but we need to get in the school. We need to make it a part of the curriculum, make it a part of everyday life. That way it's not something new or not like an option or not something that people are not hearing. Um, at the Youth Activation Summit that we held, we had 11 school districts and we hope to broaden that, double it, triple it, so that we have all school districts doing youth activation. And I worked with um, the LA school district and actually they're pitching a plan this week to their director, like an incentive plan for their students to you know, decrease absences. And I worked with them hand in hand and I helped them, you know, give them that space. That's all youth needs really, is a space to be creative and to do their own and not so much being told what to do or how to do it. Just give them that space to create and you'll be so surprised what they can come up with. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.